Well guys, welcome to the Country Club of Lexington, which means only one thing. We have Wesley, match 22, I believe it's 22. 18 holes, one video for the first time ever. We've never done 18 hole match. And my record out here speaks for itself, it, so. That it does, but it's gonna be fun. And we have a special guest behind the camera. We're gonna keep this intro short, show him to you guys in the fairway. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. We might, we might, we might maybe. peek it on a little. Hole one, par five, dog leg left. Um, definitely score, definitely reachable. Let's go. You know what? We got gently more than a minimal warm up. Oh, man. Wow. Go ahead and chalk it up. In, in your life, you Wesley. Today, boy. Get the cart going, Rogue, there. Just came over to Car Cam. You know, one of the uh, amazing features here at the Country Club of Lexington is the what do you call those things? Remote control pull carts, push carts. <laughs> oh, that's a good ball, George. Are extremely popular here on the grounds, the hallowed grounds of uh, Country Club of Lexington. So that was a pretty cool little clip too. <laughs> the amazing thing about having someone else out here filming is we've just heard so much jabbering about George and how difficult it is to film and play. And he wants to look good, but then he has to film. Now, no excuses, George. No excuses. This is a big boy test to golf. Well, guys, welcome, uh, welcome to Country Club of Lexington. Glad you guys are here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Oh, man, we haven't filmed a match in a while. It's one one 18 holes and Wesley is going to be the place. Honestly, his best golf to beat me. But there I said it. He's got to play his A1 game. So I think he's going to do that. So we get up here, we yes. see. We see. This uh, is my ball mark. One, it landed in the fairway, kicked in the rough, which is unfortunate. But the real reason we're showing you is yeah, but you're only three yards behind me. Right, but. Or in front of me. But what I, what I was getting to is I flew you. I literally flew you. Whatever. But we do have about 230 into the wind. Uh, gonna have a go at this one. A little uphill into the wind, probably, probably 250 shot. I don't know, I got 240. the perfect club for it. Not Peter Kessler's perfect club, but my perfect club. Oh my god, it didn't cut. He's got this one going at the left edge of the green and it's gonna come up short into this breeze. Oh boy, he's got this one leaking a bit right of the green. All right. Actually, short in a right. good spot, short right. And Wesley, look, he's filming. Mud ball. We We're all, back, baby. We're back. back. We, we all recognize the, the band. Is, the band is back together today. So I'll be a little bit more behind the camera doing some filming, but also some commentating. I'm going to sneak some comments in there. So uh, good to be back. Hey, welcome. Thanks, welcome man. Welcome back to the channel, man. Hey, thanks. Trying to keep a muzzle on that guy, near impossible. <laughs> yes, could I have gotten three out of there? Probably not. But three would I know for a fact if I hit one like a hot heater, that thing goes sailing over the green. I would just probably be short chipping that pin. Oh, we missed it in a delightful spot. <laughs> the short game's been awful. Wesley. I mean, it's awful. Just went right under it. How bad? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that one. Gosh, I think I'm away. It hits it right through the brake. Not hammers it through the brake. Not good either. Just making an absolute mess of the hole. Right. Absolute mess of the first. <laughs> <laughs> My, it broke more than I thought. Man, when's the, hey, when's the last time we've both parred this hole? We halved in pars. On this hole, probably this hole. not very often. No, it's a good putt. You know, we. Wesley left himself in a great spot. Mine, tough up now. But as we head to the second hole, even par for both of us. Uh, yes, I do have a new wand in the bag. It uh, looks basically like my old faithful, but this one is a little two-wand design. I don't even know what 904L means, but thing looks real pretty. Sounds nice off the blade. I'd like to hear that sound going into the cup. That's why we're, uh, we're trying new things. Looks yeah. like you got a little work to do. On the next. <laughs> we made our way to the road hole here. The road hole, yeah. It is, the, I mean, we have coined, we coined the road hole here at Lexington. It is, um, as you can tell, road. But um, shoot. We got 150, that's raw, unadjusted. Into the wind, Up. playing probably about a 160 shot. Yep, that's exactly what we're going for. Well, we've got an uphill look at it. I mean, 
Connor, I told everyone you need your A game to uh, hang with me today. I it, mean, he had brought it two holes in. My C game hangs with you. I just can't afford the D game or the F game to show up. I could not stop looking at your right po back pocket. It always stays out. This is why it's really good. I just forgot to draw. You were, you kind of gave my shot a little bit of a giggle. I don't know what that one deserves, but it definitely deserves something. Yeah, I can't. I really can't speak on that one. But just, I mean, I tried to hit the draw, a slight draw, and I hit a solid play. If you're looking at my shoes, yes, they're brand new, straight out of the box, straight out. I got new, new ones as well. We'll get to that. Uh, we'll get to that later. I told you guys, hit it like. This is why it's great. Both of our, uh, I will say, those are the times where it's tough to keep your mouth shut when, let's say, it's a bad shot. People, have, but you just gotta wait until after you hit your shot, so you don't look like an idiot. Like I have found my. <laughs> yeah. Also, going right of this ridge, I, not very good. I know. I know. These are the dangers of getting oh. above the hole. Oh, oh man, boy. I had a good putt there, too. Probably not laughing at me right now, shooting straight back up the hill. We're playing stroke play, by the way. Stroke play. I don't have much, I really don't have much to say about that. It was a great putt, but I, hey, just gotta lock in. Good pot. Mm. Wow. Mm. That was big. Our fist pumping early, because that was that was a massive putt. Going two down after one uh, here would be, two down after two would be. Would I can't be hear you yeah, under that the train. The train. What, what was that, Will? I can't, I can't hear you. The wind blower in the background. Yes, the wind blower. <laughs> but also, you guys haven't seen it yet. Wes has got a new putter. They just saw it. I've got a new putter. Oh. We've got the double wide Odyssey Versa. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, I, I would even call it, I would even call it a triple wide because so, you got three wide. Yeah, two wide. Well, we're just double of what a usual putter would. Anyway, I've been putting with a mallet for 10 years. And so I want, like, I see Wesley putting with blade putters and all these guys putting with blades. And I'm like, I want that. And so this is my way back into blade world. But man, it feels kind of nice. Um, it's got the properties or it, it has some characteristics of a mallet, but also um, acts like a blade in some scenarios. Um, you want to know what I don't like about that putter for you? What? Because it's got the same soft face to it to where oh, you're going to no, continue to leave yeah. putt short from inside of 12 feet. I, yes, every now and again you get one to the hole. See you on the third! Guys, that was massive. Um, going two down early would have been a major mistake, um, but we cashed a putt when we needed it the most. Let's go. Wes and I were just talking and uh, we would recommend something that acts like more of a brick or a propeller for George. Or a trampoline. trampoline I've got, would be I've got a, a contact in the brick business that maybe we could get some of their brick, work it into a putter face. I think I think we get I think we're onto something, George. I mean you want us to literally just cash a twelve footer when it matter the most. As we're waiting for the uh, fairway to clear. We've got the new uh Roback gym shorts that are dubbing as golf shorts today. We've got the puppy dog right here. We've got the little tag flag right there. They're light, they're breathable, they're not boa constrictors on the legs. I'll be honest, very impressed. I would give them an A+. Alright, now back to the golf. Uh, see? That's, 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 this is the Wesley we need right here. In a, this is a positive affirmation because if his misses are like this on tour, like we're good. Who said that was a miss? It, yeah, I saw your fall through. <laughs> George, I promise this hole has not changed from the previous 175 <laughs> times you've played it. Wow. Now, see, if that's one of the misses, I know, we know your game's in a really good yeah, spot, George. Right? Yes. Um, so an indication from like when I miss or like when I'm off is if I don't if I don't have good balance, that's how you know someone's off in the swing, kind of like that. I fall through them all over the place. But I'm always off balance, so it's a little more difficult to, to gauge when it's actually off. Also true. Also, shout out to Old Tire for the shoes. Um, they are very comfortable. I'm very impressed. Wesley, Wesley even said they're the most comfortable golf shoes. If they had spikes, then they would be his everyday golf shoe. And we're gonna talk about more of that more later in the video. Um, they are sponsor sponsoring today's video, which is a massive, massive help. Um, allows us to, to go on trips, create cool content, which you guys will be seeing very soon for Self Arms. Um, so yeah, now back to business here. Two wood shots. 
come through. I mean, 290 is what it said on the cart from the back tee in the fairway. I don't know if we can consider that a miss with a with an iron in hand. All right, so uh, three three ish swing, three holes in with Wesley. You hadn't seen him play in a while. Like, what are your thoughts? Give us your honest opinion. Honest opinion. I've, I like what I've seen so far. I mean, first hole was just a little bit of wind, you know, yeah. early, you know, just getting loose. But, I mean, I, I think we're rounding into form here. Okay. It's got to be I better than the dog you're a caddy in for. Yeah, now, yeah, that's, we don't even speak of that anymore. That was just a, a rough time in, in both of our lives. <laughs> so, we're on to better things. Like, right. like sticking wedge shots. Wesley, come on. We got lob wedge in hand, 96 yards. Perfect number. Attackable pin location. Should bounce a touch left. Okay. okay. It's just just the, bad. I know, but the distance control it really is impressive because it's not wasn't, distance wasn't even great. It's yeah. like two yards long and four yards right. Like it's not terrible, but it's not but still, up to his for, standards. I know, but I love watching him miss wedges because it's like it's so much better than my Mine yeah, still, like still really playable. Especially still nice. This hole, but. this hole is one of those where George, when he's hitting a lob wedge in the screen, he likes to leave it about 60 feet short. Y you're right. This, 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 this hole does lend two big numbers with this green. I mean, it's, yeah. It's a it's a very small target from 100 yards. So we can still be aggressive and take the big number out of play, given we have lob wedge in our hand. Is that right? That is true, Wes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Just personally, haven't seen that many big numbers on this hole because, like we said, it's a 380-yard downhill par four with a rather large green. So, you know, taking big numbers out of play is not really necessary. Anyway, back to regularly scheduled programming. George, what do we got? 68 yards. Going to play about a 63-yard shot. Uh, let it bounce. Maybe even yeah, 63 and let it bounce and roll back there. It is going. We are hitting down grain downhill, so it is going to skip forward a little more. Um, then the green were flat and in the green. Oh, well, I was close. I landed about 60. Um, but I know West is going to give me a hard time. I don't spin the ball as much as West, or even Will for that matter. So this one I have to land well short to let it to let it pitch back there. And because if you land it near this pin, pin high, it can literally go over the green down the hill. And so it's one place you can't be. So taking the big number out of play. All that to say, I just took the big number out of play. But then sometimes it actually goes left. I it has to go left. But this one might actually go a little left. But right edge feels like it's going to miss right. I love creating a little bit of indecision and doubt in George's mind because that is a place he does not operate well from. Look at it, pick one right. It just may, it, it defies all sorts of logic and gravity and... I mean, really, I saw, that, I saw that right on right edge too. I know, and I said it was going to miss right. Go in. Hmm, just a bad read. No, it's just a bad putt. No, I, I just don't think... You just don't think what? Get your aim there. Like, I, well, I was did you not push that? Where I started. No, I just started it dead right. No, will it will agree? That was you hit a good putt. You just had a bad read or line. Yeah, no, I mean I pushed it. I mean you might say you pushed it, but you were never gonna make it. Yeah. With where you were aimed. Yeah. See, you were aimed properly there. Anyway, dodge bullet. Let's go. Hole three, hole four, par three, about 135. This is this is a big hole. I feel like they're all gonna be big holes. But this is a birdie hole. And uh, I'm looking to get that first bird. Oh man, we might need gap wedge. Hold on, don't come back here yet, George. We don't need gap wedge. 137 up to 140. Perfect pitching wedge. All right, so one, you said 137 adjusted 140? Yep, and we got the wind uh, blowing into off the left. So we're thinking like 145 shot? Uh, more? No. I don't know what I'm thinking because I thought initially it was gonna be a little bit more just dead off the left mm. and Right. Now I'm just confused, I guess. Sounds helpful. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what number I want to play it. 145. That well, 145 right seems seems a little bit aggressive. But one, maybe I'm just trying to trick myself because I want it to be 142. Blow it right. Well, short? Well, short. I mean, it's just straight into the breeze. There's no left or right. I would say that's a physical error. It's just, I just, just not knowing the wind is what that air was. That's so delightful if it's the number. You got me, right? Yeah, that's a great shot. Thank you. 
went with nine iron. Sensible play. Sensible play is a. Uh, hey, I shot eight. This is this, this is where it happens right here. Hole three, hole four. I'm telling you, one thing that will never ever not happen is me get these uh, these holes wrong. I, I've called this hole three in about every video for the last three years. It's hole four, a par three. I'm bringing putter. It might have spun back off the green. Oh my goodness, the ball's not. It did spin back off the green. Yikes. Oh no. Not going back for wedge. Been hitting hey, George, that. Can you bring his wedge? No, I've been hitting that too bad. I don't need my wedge. I mean, I hate putting from off the green. There's few things I hate more than putting from off the green. But I will say this is one thing that I think he needs to do more because there are times and places, as good as the chipper is, as he is, putting is a sensible play. And so right. still think he needs to press every now and then just to, just to stay current. See? Uh, as I like that for some currency, baby, come on. Again, hey, that was, just, that was, no, that was great putt. No, but that's just, that's just point, great strategy. Just putting from off the green is what you should do more often. When you miss the greens, pull out the putter. If it works for me, it can work for you. But I'm saying it points back to the greater narrative that I am, you need me, because I was talking about his made putt in Puerto Rico from off the green, that it was a good play, and sure enough, right on cue, he makes it, which stinks because I was. I mean, that thing had some serious pace, too. Good, hey, good putt, good putt. George has no bargain here. This is a, this is a turner from his right to his left. A little Ted Turner. To stay one down. Big putt here early. The way Wes is come out of the gates here. Hate to go too many down. It's got a break. What a, Wes, it was such a good putt. I think we need to see him clean that up just simply because pace of play is a little bit slow today. And yeah. We might I mean, as well while we're here, right? I think that's kind of a slap in the face, to be honest, from just under two feet. <laughs> Putt. I just slap in the face, but again, I, I appreciate. It. I need to putt like fun if we play in tournament golf. If I'm going to be, maybe, cool. maybe doing Q school uh, later this summer, I need to get like where I'm making those putts because I there's no gimmies in Q school. I mean, it is the year of the beast. The beast doesn't miss those putts. But guys, do, it, do do I do it? Do I just? I know I talked about it a few months ago, but do I actually do it? Do I go ahead and just just send it? Game's good. What do you think? Comment down below. Speaking of send it, you might as well send it with a little sixty-five hundred dollar check in the mail. Yeah. That's what you're going to be sending. But also, if you don't get through the, all the stages, you get refunded. So if I don't get through pre-qualifying, they, re <laughs> they refund you some. All right, hole five. So what do we have? It? We have it too deep right now? Yes. It could be four. That's T-W-O, not T-O-O. -O. We're working on two deep with, with two I'm, O's. I'm starting to think maybe out on tour, when you've gotten it to two under, you might be thinking that's too many under par. <laughs> How many so then you start tour? making bogeys. Is that the case, Wes? <laughs> well, I do usually birdie the first. You're getting yeah. You get too, you get nervous when he gets two under. Yeah, it's that's two D. <laughs> that's good. One. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh five, par four, dead, uh, dead straight ish. We get a two D. Look out, golf cart up there. That is two D. Oh, horrible kick. Did you hit the fairway? Like no, it, well, it hit the fairway and then it caromed it out of the fairway. Carammed. Karam Abdul Jabbar, just to the right. Oh, 100% lost it. That is right up the left, fading, should kick. Tried to. Uh, missed, uh, missed it by about a yard. Good swing, though. Yeah. No. Well, last year that would have been in the fairway. They really pinched this one in a little bit. So. Yeah, this, this is the one, like, there's a few holes, like, but you just cannot go right here, so my target is always, like, left rough. Target's always left rough and peel it off there, and I just. Wow, airplane! Hey, Wes, welcome to the car cam, man. I've been summoned for a little car cam here. Um, Did you want an instant reaction from that putt I just made? No, you're, 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 putt, you're putting with my, my putt was good too. Wow. Make it good. No, but this one, so again, a lot of this car cam and our interactions are funny and joke at each other, but this one actually is serious. So you played nine or 10 events this year, made one cut, I believe, right? Two. Two. The what? team event, Zurich. Oh, yeah. Meeting Grayson go. Murray, who just called a dub on the Grand yeah, Ferry Tour. Yeah, Grayson Murray. But no, you end up with a tie for six. So obviously your game at your top end is pretty solid. What do you think? What do you think has like been the the reason for your less than stellar play? Like if, if, when you're looking at it, you're like, man, I just need to get better at this, or what am I doing? I'll tell you what. I'm missing a lot of cuts, but I'm missing the cuts prettier now than I did last year mm -hmm. and the year before. Mm -hmm. My like my my average game that I'm showing up to the course with is much better now. 
not yielding the results. I think a lot of that is my short game has been very, very sporadic. It goes from very, very good, very, very bad, very good, very bad. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that I can always rely on. Ah, which yeah. in the past, yeah, like, it was always able to rely on that mm -hmm. to stay in rounds. And now they're just kind of getting away from me. That is true. And, uh, yeah, I just, I feel like I'm close. Like, any given week now, I feel like I can win. A year ago, any given week, I felt like a miracle would have to happen for me to make the cut. Yeah, the only so. thing you were winning is matches against me. That was like your best case scenario. Right, and now you've now, elevated your game, and now and you, it, it, it seems as though at this point you're competitive, which is fun. So. <laughs> well, he just told us he's not filming right now. Yeah, I guess. Hey, no, you go, go and eat your apple. It's, you take some time off. It's fine. Hey, I, I got us a scooter update, all right? Oh, 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 no, okay. Well, they know him as cardboard, so give us a cardboard update. Cardboard, one under through seven, just. All pars and a birdie. Finds himself four back. Crashkins? Crashkins, uh, he doesn't tee off until 1.45 this afternoon. And, and Michael Block. Michael Block tees off later than that. So only skewed updates this morning. Okay, get back to eating. Uh, we got 127 uphill at about 136. I'm going to play about a 132 shot. Um, a little downwind. Should be a stock 50 degree. Just, just a stock Michael Block 50 degree. There's the flag. You're going stock block here, huh? I mean, would you say with 130, is that agree just to even play with the wind? No, that's fine. Just hit just it. Hit. Oh, you got to sit. I don't know. Do you know what it's going to do? N no idea. It looked like it was knuckling a little bit. Yeah. Got a little knuckly. I do think I saw the ball land up there, though. Yeah, it's a good shot. There we are, Wesley, probably. 122 with a little mud on the turtle. <laughs> Going with a gap wedge. That has to be right of the pin, right? That was just chunked. Was Where is right it? At it? Oh, it's gotta be way short. I was right at it. I, by the follow through, I was already zooming right at that pin. No, that's because <laughs> I couldn't get through all the turf that I was taking, and then I just kind of. <laughs> we found ourselves about 40 feet short here, after the sod lay from the right rough. Oh my gosh. Who is this guy punting? Gosh, it looks like I'm better from range, huh? Yeah, but, uh, well, I'm gonna get, I, I get that to Wesley. Well, now now that double hits are kind of in play, we've been working on this new tactic to where you just brush him in from that distance with no stress. George just keeps leaving himself above the hole in treacherous locations. Yeah. Pretty well judged. Yeah, I mean, I, was, I mean, you saw what you got. You guys saw where that started. It started what? Yeah, we'll just we'll just brush it in. That's good, kind of. Yeah, it's good now. Um, that was a great pop hit. Actually, really solid putts the last the last four holes. Yeah, but I'm even par. It happens. Uh, Wesley is two under. Uh, but again, 18 holes, we got a lot of time. I mean, as you guys know, 15, 16, 17, 18, volatile. So hey, let's just stay patient, stay in this game. We're fine. Well, guys, we're taking a break in the action to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Olakai. I've been wearing the Kapalua golf shoe today, Wesley. I've got the y lies on, and I swear these are the most comfortable shoes I've put on. They say all day comfort, mm -hmm. and it is true. I swear these things were literally made for my foot. They're made out of premium leather. They're waterproof, stain resistant. Which, stain resistant is uh, very helpful uh, for, in our, for in our a guy situation. like you. Guys, these shoes, super comfortable. I could legitimately walk 36 holes one day, no problem. I mean, they were designed for the foot yes. to be walking on wet sand. Like, that's the that's the feeling. Mm -hmm. So, the comfort is there. They've got enhanced soft spike traction, except without the spikes, so they're spikeless. Mm -hmm. uh, still able, I mean, my footwork is a little bit questionable at times. Still able to keep me, uh, traction to the ground. Yep. Olakai is a certified B Corp and member of the Conservative Alliance, partnering with others around a common purpose to protect wild places for their habitat and recreation value. And guys, it really is an honor and privilege to work with companies like Olakai. The shoes are great, the company even better. So to Olakai, thank you so much for today. Wesley? Make sure you either hit the link in the description or you can go to olakai.com slash Brian Bros, get you some free shipping on the shoes. Now back to the action. Hole number six, dog leg left, sharp dog leg left, um, par four. Good hole from these new back tee boxes into the wind. Uh, it's gonna require a good drive today. Hey, please, back tees, that's gonna be fine. You're gonna have a million yards in. Yeah, that'll be in the yeah, two bills hey, range. That's fine. That's a beautiful ball there, Georgie. Thank you. Let me walk right in front of the tracer. 
I mean, this is a, it's a good hole now, Will, from these back tee boxes, like, especially when it's in the wind like this. Used to, we'd just send driver over the trees, have, like, wedge in. Now, we're going to have, what, seven iron? Eight iron? Wesley, maybe maybe Wesley 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 have a little bit Wesley more. have lumber in, probably. Yeah. Big, big spot for the young lad. Yeah, we got 189 into the breeze, going with six iron. Mud on the front right of the ball, which leads me to believe it's going to go gently to left. Hopefully not more than gently. There, it's going left. Now, autocorrect. Correct back right. Yeah, well short. Oh, oh, oh! Dog it, mud. I hate it. I, I think it's a stupid rule. Now, in the rough, you should have to deal with it. Hey, if but if that was in the fairway, that's just not. Yeah, we got 178. Um, wind, I think, right to left. Maybe hurting a little bit. Going seven. The smooth seven. A little gusty Correction. right there. Maybe, maybe, maybe a full seven. Wait, is that gonna go or is that good? Oh my god. Oh wow, a little chip off. Guys, that was that, that's a lot of wind up there. Maybe I need a smooth six. I had a hundred that was like a hundred and eighty yard shot for sure with seven and I'm well short. Dang, that was a good swing. Smell like party. Smells like a chip in right here. That's what it smells like. Yeah, sometimes the pins in the middle of the green are the toughest. I don't know. Sheesh. Right in the middle of the green and we both miss. That was it well done. Went, it just went the wrong way. Yours is going left. Oh! What? Was yours trying to go left? Yeah, but you had a different spin. But why did that not go in? That was... That was perfect speed. I'll tell you why. Come here. Hey, no, no. Wesley, there's been enough negativity already today. Wesley, I feel like he's complained on every shot. Um, that was a great shot. I know. But I'm telling you... They had these stupid things on the flag. Look at this. <laughs> It's like this material that that supposedly like softens like the flag stick or something. It is the dumbest. That's an extra. That's yeah. It, it keeps balls from going in the hole. That's so. Are we gonna count that or? Oh heck no. <laughs> hey no, that was a great shot. I, I mean, right. anytime you can go toe to toe with uh, Wedgley and actually get him hit a better shot than he did at any given spot point around the green, you know it's a win. But we are heading to the seventh hole, par five. Don't like right. Don't like right par five. I mean, it is. It's, it's a. It's a slight dog right, par five, even par two under. Hey, playing some good golf here, just not showing yet. So I'm just gonna keep patient, keep the same mentality, and eventually I am gonna catch Wesley. Mm. Go ahead, Wesley. Play away. Big drive here for Wesley. He's gonna determine the whole day. Back, through, just only slightly right. It's better swing that, but to be fair, he was aimed up right. So I guess he's trying to play. Right. Unless you're trying, if you're trying to play draw, then yeah. No, I was trying to let it fall gently to the right. Woo! I'm aimed right? Yeah, that was... Dang it! No, that, like, that was a good swing. That was hit nice. Oh, it's great. It's great. Keep coming. Keep coming. No, no. Yeah. Wait, no, we're watching George's ball go left. Oh, that should have wrecked the cart path. Can I That's fine. And then we get a great free drop there, George. Look, that was a... Why did it not fade more? Uh, when not put... Ah, no. what's pushing the other way? No. Yeah, no. you hit it too hard, it just went straight through it. That's yeah, what those why, heavy hitters why do. You do. Think mine didn't slice into the trees? I mean, I have been working out a little bit. I mean, <laughs> that was, it was a good swing, though. 230. 230. Nice. What's the breeze doing? Uh, it's dead in the face, a little bit off the right. I have got just the club for this. Club is that? Looks to be the. It's the deuce piece. The deuce piece. Gosh, am I just aimed up right, George? I mean, if you're trying to play a cut, and you are, or are you try, if you're try, are you trying to play like a draw? I was trying to hit that one straight, just right of the flag, because I didn't want to be left of this flag. Uh, I'd say, but, I'd I say, mean, a it's just like line it's that's solid. a little off. It's just like it's it's either like a touch of this, or a touch of this, or it's not a lot between, off. It's or just, maybe it's a touch of this. It, your alignment looks like you're trying to play just five to eight yard draws. Well, a five to eight yard draw with this club from this distance, so that pin would have been irresponsible. Well, so. Just with, just bad, with, bad with those trees in the way. Well, yeah, I agree. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, wants and wants and needs. What we got? Ensuring I don't break my wrist. Uh, take these rocks out. Here, feel free to call in after this. If is you, that uh, is that illegal? What I'm doing? Using a T instead of my fingernails? No, no, no. But if he moves the ball, just feel free to call in. Um, how far do we have? I don't even know. Hold on. No, Wesley wouldn't dare shoot a yard for me. Dude, I'm watching Grant Horvat on Instagram. Shout out Grant Horvath. Hey, the next few weeks, we have some, not uh, not groundbreaking content coming, but we did go to Purcell Farms and film with Grant. 
Micah, busted chat guys, and it's it's gonna be good. All right, now back to uh, this. Two fifteen, two twelve, uphill. Greg, what are you thinking? Into the wind, about two twenty five shot. Back ten. I mean, I gotta go four iron. Three iron is brings in long. Ooh, See it? Feel it? Believe it. Oh my! Oh my! What? Hey, that's my moment. Yeah. Two in on the hole. What a shot! Soft oh, shot. That's my moment. My moment on Instagram is going well. Look at this. You see this? That's from that's from cardboard. Getting artsy on the gram. And if you haven't followed him yet, it's Scoot. Scott's. Nope, it's Scoot underscore Stevens twenty one. Go follow. Go give cardboard a follow. He gives you really artsy stuff and some occasional golf content. Guys, 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 guys. Let's go. That's my moment. Got Timothy Freeg. Come on. Chill out, Georgie boy. George. Look at that. Hey, look at Will, that. Will. Look at, hey, look at, look where my ball is. Look where Wesley's walking. I mean, George, you, you got to use this Stop it. I mean, there's, a hey, there's a chance we could tie the hole. Wesley for eagle. It's time to go in. I mean, well, that's I'm, an that, easy birdie. That's a birdie. I'm going to, I'm going to get to him. Good putt, George. Goodness <gasps> gracious. Oh, that was my second. moment. I executed. Cashed in on my moment. Two hey. under par for me. Now again, we have a, hey, this is an 18 hole video. We have a lot, a long way, a lot of golf left. Uh, but that is going to be two under. Only one back of Squire, three under. Hey, hey George, Wes, let's get, let's get you remember the sport, You remember the sports center clip? He went where only Eagles dare. You remember that? They run every time someone hold out and it was a, Maybe. a top 10 play. Do we overlay an eagle that's screeching right now? No, and it would be like, and it was just the, like a laugh track, but it was a track. And he went where only eagles dare. Gosh, heard that so many times what, on Sports Center. What do you think up. about that hole from George there? That was, uh, he got, he got was lucky. The, First off, it should have it should have drilled the cart path and gone deep into Narnia. There, got lucky. There. Stopped on a really good lie. Perfect open shot. Did he execute a phenomenal one from there? Absolutely did. And good putt. So did he deserve eagle? No. Did he earn an eagle? Absolutely. Here we go. Hold over eight. Uh, downhill slightly more downwind than downhill. Par four. <laughs> about what three. 70. Fairway is clear. Just play away, sir. Hey, Wes, how much does this play down? Half a yard. Okay. <laughs> but then it goes back up, up a half a yard, yard so, so it's so the it's, green, so I so think it's flat. flat. <laughs> mm, that's elite. Yeah, Dude, that's that's on just one elite. Now. That is elite. That was. I like that one a lot. As well you should. That's fine. Might too. get into the rough. What? Really? <laughs> no. Dang it. Oh man, I've been aiming up right, so I'm gonna aim up left here, and this is not a hole to hit left. But we got. No, just try. try. Just make your same swing you did. Just aim a, little, a fraction for the left. I'm and doing you, it. It's self. There, that's problem. literally perfect right there. Just commit to it. I'm not lying to you. Literally perfect. See? Mm. That's, see? I mean, yeah. Greg I told him. Yeah. That's even more elite than the first swing. Yeah, that's. Swing. I mean. Wow. That rush too. <laughs> Wesley, let's go. Hey, it all this time. Right. Hey, all this time. That was that was real it might good. Have been alignment. It was uh -oh. Real good. Hey, we might be in trouble. We might we might have just unleashed the beast on Wesley. Whoa, whoa I might be way farther than him. Let's go. Anyway, he's been laying, aimed up way right all day, and that one he aimed up properly. He could have even taken a tick more left and absolutely roped it. Now he knows his alignment, and. He might have, you might see as we, as we head to the back nine, a little more confident version of Wesley and uh, he's actually way by me than what you've seen in the past, which I, maybe I should wait until after the round to tell him, but I'm just too, too good of a big brother. But those are deep, those balls are deep. Yeah, I got, got about a 45 yard shot, just paced it off. Um, I'm gonna try to land this just barely over the front edge of the green and then let it run back there. That is the goal. Back to back Eagles. Not oh. oh my, not exactly what he was hoping no, for. No, I missed my spot by like two yards. No, I wasn't trying to, I was trying to hit like a low skipper. I wasn't trying to hit like a, a yeah. squeeze spinner. Shoot! Now I look like an idiot from my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a great call. All right, uh, my goal is to not look like an idiot in front of my friends here. I don't know how far it is, but it's just a little chip shot. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, I, t I told I told Cart Cam this, Will. I said that alignment and that drive might have given Wesley a little more pep in his step and a little more confidence. And now, George, you ch you chipping it to 30 feet is what gave me the confidence I needed. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to land it right here. 
and I landed it back there. It's just... Oh, and it's very oh. pace. Simmer down. Whoa, way out of frame. That no, was, it was close to hitting me on the fly. I mean, uh, these, the greens are fast. I haven't I, played fast greens in a long, long time. Go ahead and get get your read in. Yeah, we're gonna. You're still you're still hot. Good that line. was big. This is a stroke play match. That was massive. I feel like I've said that on every, about every hole now. That's a big play. I mean, but it is. Though. Eventually, you don't want to lose all your momentum from the big E on the last. Yeah. Eventually, it just sounds like the boy who cried wolf. Huh. Oh. Looks like I just got to aim left with everything. Just aim hey, further left. A nice birdie. Four under through eight. Come on. Four under through eight with some missed opportunities. And now I've got a little swing tip slash alignment check from George. The sky's the limit. Let's go. Oh, as we approach the tee box, yet another hole that you just cannot afford to go left. And that's where I'm going to be aiming. Aiming left in my uh, Olakai shoes. Just point those puppies a little further left. Feels a lot like a trust fall here, aiming left. Wesley, dude, you got it. Trust your alignment. Literally, it's perfect. What, what have we done? What if I I've you created? You have absolutely a... unlocked the beast. Sorry, George. No, this is my year. My, don't don't take this. That was a good draw. That's a great. Hey, I like seeing it. I'm your biggest fan. You guys know that. I'll give him some path. No. Path. no, 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 no. Where's the goal is? Nope, it's right of the path. See, that's. I'll say again. I like that miss. That's if I'm gonna have a miss anywhere, that's where I want it. Just a hair right. But it's frustrating now that Wesley's got this confidence off the tee. I feel like, man, I need to keep up with him. Got Miles over here barking me about George hitting it a yard by me as it lands back in the trees, pine cones, dirt, and rolls up. Mine hits and backs up like five yards. I don't see the ball mark anywhere, but I'm sure it did. Anyway, got 95 yards. 95 yards, uphill, downwind. Still think the uphill is gonna play a little bit more than the downwind, so we're gonna go like a 96, 97 shot to account for a little bit of spin. He's got 95 yards. Um, the confidence has been ticked up like eight degrees since his driver tip. Um, I think that's gonna his wet shot, and he really likes it. If that's right, if that if that's one back, that might be in the hole. Well, no, this, it was just a like a foot left of the hole, and the spin is going to be coming back. I knew it was going to take a shot. I knew it. Not thrilled with the result, but we'll take it. Wait, he might he he might be in the hole, and he said he's not thrilled, or at worst, a couple feet left. That was a, that was a bit much for for, it, my, it really is for my taste. All right, I got 96 yards, but we have a much worse lie than Wesley because I missed the fairway. Definitely going to jump, so we're going to play this. Probably like 88. Try to land on the front of the green and just let it release. Oh, yes. Yes, Will. Should be spinning back to the hole, baby. That should be releasing there nicely. Yeah. Hey, come on. Come on, Will. This, these are the vibes we needed right here. Having you back in the mix just elevates everyone's uh, experience. You hear that noise? Listen. Now, this might be my favorite feature of the putter. Why does it do that? Oh, that's the, the face. face. Well, let me go stuff my ball to, to clean my ball off. Did you talk about your ball spinning back? No, that was, no that, that was Will. I did not say that. He said it should be spinning back. I'm up here. I don't know. You said that? Yeah. If I said that, it's only because I can't see ball flights through the camera. Okay, well, mine, I thought it was going to be ripping back. It turns out it just spins back a foot or two with a full lob wedge. Oh, my time. I thought it was going to straighten out this last, like, four feet. Yes. Mm, pours it in. Just, I don't just know. pours the, the it in. Confidence is, is up there right now, but three under par for me, four under for Wesley. Uh, as we make the turn, guys, the video's not over. We got nine more holes. Shout out to Olakai, sponsoring the video. The, the shoes, low key. I, mine, I think they were actually made for my foot. Like, legitimately made for my foot. I'm a fan. Like, this is not my first nine holes or the second nine playing uh, in the shoes. Stable. I feel really Wait, good. where was your first nine? Uh, I'd a, I, I gave a practice round. I gave a practice round last week. Um, but no. And the putter. New year, new me. I mean, midway through. Well, it's not really. It's, yeah, speaking of new putter, comment down below. Yeah, who's... What, what are the thoughts here? What are the thoughts on this bad boy? You like it? You don't like it? Hey, if you don't like it, uh, hit up Joe Toulon. It's his fault. Which one do you like better, mine or Wesley's? Feeling good. See you guys on the back nine. All right, go. Here we go. We've reached the tenth hole. Dog left. 
Um, in the wind today, it's going to be, you got to hit a solid three iron or hybrid uh, to get yourself in position. Um, then you should have a wedge into the screen. That's well played. Another hole to not go left on. A little toe hook out of the right. I respect the play. Oh, don't you talk about, bad about that one. Toe hook gets right down the middle. It was a chunk toe hook. It wasn't just I, your hey, no, I'll toe hook. I respect it. And uh, Willie, there, good sandwich. Pepperoni, turkey, pepper jack cheese on sourdough. Mm. Wonderful. All right, guys, 115 yards. Pins right in the center of the green, just taking dead aim. So you, I mean, you got Wes with the wedge in his hand. You know he's going to hit it, hit it close. Whoa, Will! A little bit deep. Was, I guess was it downwind all of a sudden? Yes. You might have gotten a little bit of gas, but yeah, that was so. Because the whole prior was like pushing into, and it did. You got y'all can't really see it on here, but playing here, you can see it kind of take this weird. Yeah, I know. Spot. Hey, hit a good shot. That's all you can do. Got 119. Went into off the right. I don't usually like hooking my wedges, but this one calls for the hook, so I'm clubbing down. Got the 54 degree. Gonna go for a low driving draw. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Feast your eyes on that one, Georgie boy. I, uh, I don't think you're gonna like when the ball. Just no, I know. I, I told. I was telling. Well, I was like, he's gonna stuff this one. Part of it, Doug. We know you're a good wedge player, but this is our first our 18th match. I feel like it feels different. This is like well, an honor. No, no, this is our this is our 5,000th 18 hole match. Yeah, but first one. First it for you guys to see the whole thing in its entirety. Yeah, wait, this is three years in. We've never done 18 holes one video, so this is fun. A to play 18 holes and and whatever, but like. Let us I know. Think, let uh, us know how you like the longer form versus shorter form. Type yeah. style, or not short. I mean, 35 minutes, not short. Form, yeah. But let us know the style that y'all prefer, because I think we're gonna do a little bit more of these longer videos. Yeah. And it's fun to play 18 holes. Like you feel like you come out here and get like more work in than playing nine holes, right? Right. But still, we would usually play 18 and just not film it, or, or maybe release <sighs> hey, it, or guys, do something else. I'm excited to be playing 18. George's been exposed. Film. Yeah, Wesley hit a good shot, and this, this was hooking, and. If it had just kicked a little left instead of right. But you're below the hole exactly where you want to. No, I got a wind gust that took mine. I hit a great shot too. Oh my, George just did it. George didn't do it. Wow. How good else? Hey, that's a great putt. I'm telling you, so the wind picked up that was blowing this way and your ball was like coming in. And the wind picked up and kind of like straightened it back out because I thought it was going to continue to hook back. And it just, the wind that he needed back in the fairway. Yeah, I know. The, but I mean, it got him twice on one hole. All right, still a uh, minute three under. Wesley to take a two shot, two shot cushion heading to the 11. Nice birdie. Thank you. Hey, if you guys tuned in for some good golf on this, uh, whenever this video is coming out Wednesday, I think is what this will be. Three under for me, five under for Wesley through 10 holes. Starting to heat up here. I mean, I gotta, I mean, Wesley, I gotta, I gotta me, pick my game up. That makes me on pace for 10. Ish. No, well, ish. Nine. Well, nine, but we've also got the drivable hole and then a couple par fives left. So we'll say 10. And you on pace for about three. So perfect. You're, a little, you're in the shade right there a little bit, but it's fine. It's just good to have you back. It just, you know, Wesley's in the total shade. Oh, wait, I thought you were talking about me. I was going to say thanks, George. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. No, we it's great know. to be back. We all know what we're talking about. Yeah, fun. Getting the band back together. Feels right. And you don't even have to play today. Is that nice or yeah, you don't... not nice? Is... Uh, I mean, I'd like to put my talents on display. There's no doubt. But, you know, I'm a team player, so that's what I do. All right, here we go. Hole number 11, par 3, 206 yards. There we go. The wind going every which direction. It is, this is just going to be... The classic swirly, huh? Shout out, to Shit. Shout out to the 90s kids who were uh, afraid to death of swirly. Yeah. Hey, I can't hear you, George. <laughs> you Speak say? louder. What'd you say? We're good. We're yeah, good. Thank, you. thank you. No, what'd you say, George? No. Out, out here, out here, it's golf, but louder. It's louder. <laughs> Trademark. Can't use no. that. <laughs> the wind laid down right as it was hitting. I know, and I just absolutely gave up on it. 
I don't yeah. think we're gonna be able to find that one. Yeah, it's a nice job. The the, no, the zoom, it's just left of the tree. Yeah. So, hey, it, guys, wasn't, it wasn't left of the tree, it came down right of the tree. No, it didn't. It, not it not from this angle. In the bunker. Guys, I'm sorry for the production value on that one. It's not, it wasn't a me thing or a Will thing. That was a totally Wesley thing. Hey, but thanks, we got man. five iron. We're gonna play it kind of right center of the green. Oh, get over the creek. Is that, did you see that, Gus? That's gotta get over the creek. Oh, on the front of the green. Good shot. That's what that's what we were hoping for the last hole, that kind of like, Gus. This hey. is a tough hole right now. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Will. He, hey, he, he got me in there, he locked me in. He's like, hey, it's in it off the right. And he was right. I'm not sure who has the advantage right now. I like to think that I have the advantage. All right, landed in the bunker. Kind of found a little bit of a weird spot here. I mean, I pulled it 20 right, feet. Good, good. Not bad from there. It's a tough yeah. spot. It's a good pot. Great pot. I'm telling you, I'm it's all this putter. That was solid in the center of the club face. And I took that comment to, uh, to heart. You don't know who's in better position. Yeah, well, I also... Uh, also grabbed the wrong putter out of the bag, so this is Old Faithful. <laughs> it wasn't a purposeful putter change. Oh my gosh, what a read, it stays up. That, that's a great read because it looked like it was gonna miss right, but the grain held it up a touch or something. Putter's looking good today though, Wesley. All right, I was not gonna lie, I thought I had a chance of picking up a stroke, but five under for Wesley, three under for me as we head to the par four, number 12. Maybe might be the straightest hole, hole in Columbia, Lexington, dare I say South Carolina. I mean, why did I give him a lesson? I mean, that's going. What do you mean? It's right in the center of the fairway. Okay. I think it's just right. That's in the rough. Wait, right there, that's right of the fairway? Yeah. Yeah. Also, the ball's like a foot above your feet right there. That's right. This is one where, for, unfortunately, George is going to be barking about how far by he hit it. Yeah, yours is getting held nicely. Thank you. Well, guys, this is where the rubber, hits, the rubber meets the road, uh, as the uh, old phrase goes. 95, I'm going to play about a 98 shot, 100 yard shot uh, to the wind. That's getting better, right? Thanks. Yeah, the wind didn't really eat it too much. But I'd rather err on that side and have the uh, be a, have, have a putt at it for sure. All right, Wesley, big, hey, birdie here would go a long way because I'm definitely making mine. Got 85 yards, slide down the lob wedge a little bit. Drew a good lie here in the rough, or what, what they're calling rough out here. You know, what they're calling rough seems to have baffled him. Went for the hot draw. Skip it up there with no spin, and it turns out that one hit in the uh, short of the green. And I, got, I hear George yelling, two-shot swing up there. Two-shot swing! Two-shot swing! This is Mr. Green. I got about 10 feet for birdie. He's going to learn at some point. Keep those comments to yourself, George. Oh, also, I did forget to mention, um, so this video is coming out right now. Just got done filming a lot of videos that will come out in the coming weeks. Just cut my hair yesterday. So. My hair is not going to magically grow a lot in a you know a one week span when you see you'll see the next uh, set of videos. So I think it's a good haircut. Well, what do you thought? I mean, good haircut, right? Yeah, not bad for you. Yeah, not bad. Good haircut. Oh, he hasn't been chipping well. But right, that was right on cue. That was up to standard. Uh, no, I thought it was. Gosh, I thought that was gonna nip, nip and go, to the go right yeah. a little bit. I about eight, you, uh, you got about, I about ate my words in uh. A big fashion there because I said you hadn't been chipping well, so I don't know if this is going to be good. And yeah, that was really good. You're also about to really eat your words after the two shot swing garbage uh, when you three whack this. I mean, this is slippery. I mean, I don't think I've seen a pin down this far. You sure did go drill. That's a good putt. Wow. Wow. Great roll. Man, wow. Leslie, it's just, I, I don't know. The confidence, the shoes, the putter. It's just the year of the beast. It's all things coming together. Have we for talked it right about now. that. So again, I've been making it like to off camera. Just been joking around. To, again, I've, I'll make I'll make a mention of this in, in future videos. But like, 
I need more confidence. So I've been <laughs> calling it the year of the beast as like my alter uh, alter ego. And again, there might be something to it. I'm a little more confident now. I've got this like pep my step, but it's it's, it's, it's totally shooting under par. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> I can't, I can't say that with a straight face. So don't, I don't actually believe that. No, but, but you do. But do I? I don't. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, there it is. No, it's cutting there back. There it is. That's, that is so perfect. I think it's in the rough. It's in the rough. That's it's kind of really fine. Am I okay here, Wes? The disrespect. No, I'm being serious. The disrespect, Meech. Am I okay here? I'd have to start this down the middle of the other fairway to hit you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're. So am I okay here? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. What's that? What are you doing? I, that is the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> it's so bad that it's going to be fine. Dude, I don't know how to hit a 30 yard cut right now. No, no, I know, but what I'm saying is here, you don't need to hit a 30 yard cut, you just need to hit a 10 yard fade. The 10 yard fade has to clip the no, trees. No, and, the, and if it doesn't fade, then. All right, we're just gonna go find it and hit it again. That was horrible. No, that's all meant. So he just tried, like, he just tried to do something that he's not comfortable doing and it wasn't necessary. Like, if he's gonna try a 30 yard cut, go to three wood, not driver. No, point. we're not hitting three woods out here. Let's well, just go find it and hit it. I'm probably gonna make birdie, George. No, you're fine. I'm saying, I don't wanna see it ever again. Well, I, th th you would n I'd never have to hit a shot like this on a real golf course. <laughs> that was the worst I've ever seen. Mentally bad, but then compounded it with just wor words. The tracer won't even do that justice. Now again, he's driving a great day, so again, I mean, it's not like that, that's just an anomaly. But whoo, that was bad. Four under, five under. You guys got some good golf. Now the, the thing I've been posing a lot as of late, you know, been bringing up chai teas. Chai teas are my absolute jam. In fact, right now I'm craving one. Any other chai tea uh, people out there, or are, you, or are you not? Are you guys not old enough to be? Am I, is that like a dad thing that I've acquired in my old age? Drinking tea, my oh, man. If you're not, go and go and get you one. One ten, the light pull angle. We got the wind just off the left. Not a usual angle here to the screen for the no, viewers, we've, but, we've, but we still are on the 13th hole. Well, well we're currently on the 14th, we're on the 14th, but we're playing the 13th. Good lie. I mean. Yeah, deserved every bit of that. That's just a hey, you gotta you gotta put a birdie. Here, let me let me fill let me fill the divot over here. People are gonna wonder how in the world does someone end up over here? I don't know. Just... Hey, let's go to my ball. Not a good line to Oh my. It hits I mean that was splendid. That was it's like fantastic. perfectly on the grain change. You see that? Yep. All right, it's going left, right, left. Little triple breaker here. Dude, what a that. I mean, well, I'm hoping I'm blocking the, all the theatrics you're watching right now. He just made a birdie. Now again, he will. He read that thing perfectly. Yeah, yeah, also hit two but horrible on, shots. On a normal golf course, that would have been staring five or six in the face. Seven, eight, yeah. nine. Yeah, when you order your golf balls and you say the high numbers, that's what that's what that was. Wow, just jams it home. Roasted in the back of the hole. Fly it in. Hey, let's go. Birdie. Look like a birdie. Look like a back to back birds. Tied with three all day. I I know. I was hoping to be tied for the lead going into the uh this home stretch but hey five under six under boys are playing some golf today i mean the, the game feels good on all fronts like wesley that drive this was that was an outlier but his like his game is solid my game feels pretty good and we got a neck and neck match so settle in get your chai tea go heat it up again or go get a new one and we'll see you on the 14th tee box you i'll tell you what george some real estate has been covered on the greens with me right now that, that these is... are these are the three longest putts i've made in in six months <laughs> y'all have got to see them all all right here we go so the wind, in theory, should be right to left, correct? And into? Uh, yes. They're... They are not reaching okay. into this, into this breeze. Are you sure? Not the, uh, the Healy Dan Not the cut. heel cut. If that's that gets to him, I'd be surprised, but that's... Well, creeping up, creeping up on him. That's only 50 short. That's the first one. That's the first one. Hook. I'll tell you, aiming left, we cannot hit the toe. Cannot afford it. 
But I mean, that's that's, that's okay. awful. It is awful, but it's just you, t you hit it off the toe. Well, I know, but that's awful. And that was just pure, like, that was I just a like toe I'm hook. Aimed, I feel like I'm aimed so far to the left right now. Hey, coach here, like, you think it's just going to all of a sudden feel comfortable? No, you're going to have to do this for a week, and your alignment will be good. Yeah, I will, I will say the one thing that's pro I don't know what's harder, aiming too far left when it feels bad or too far right. I think if you're too too far left, aiming right is way more freeing. But yeah, but this it's not going to hurt him. He's going to have maybe a little tree trouble. Oh uh, yeah, it was a terrible shot, but you're fine. How'd you really feel about that channel. Channel. I mean, just awful. All right, we got 138 in the dandelions over here. Literally got one right over my golf ball. <laughs> Going with a little eight iron. Oh, this is trippy looking. Now it really was a pretty poor shot. I had a pretty easy one. Honestly, pretty poor camera work as well. I'm not sure where that ended up. All right, here we go. 150 uphill in the wind. I mean, all of 160, maybe even Wesley 165. Would you agree with that? Yeah, like, probably like 160. Four? One, yeah. 162. We're going to play 160 because I'm not sure where that pin is. If it's uh, it's on the middle. Anyway, go on with eight. God, I got, oh, no. No, I was just so scared. That was all. Oh, no. Come back. No, it stops. Hey, that's what that's what fear looks like. Y'all saw it through the lens. I just didn't. That's what luck looks like. That they also saw. I didn't the complete lens. my turn and like thought I had. Well, that's, that's fear. Else fear. We left ourselves in a good spot here below the hole. Now this is why probably some of that fear did creep in. Like I wanted to be short of that, short of the pin, and I couldn't feel the wind. So whatever. But again, we're uphill into the grain where Wesley is long. He's putting downwind and uh, down grain. So I think he's got a tougher shot than I do. Well, I mean, being below the hole on like these kind of greens, it's helpful. Also, pull that flag out. Also, shout out to our uh, shout out to our guy Will behind the camera. Like, I think this might be our first match where I actually have someone filming. Maybe this is why I've been getting beat so bad all these years. First hole, we talked about at some point you're going to talk about the relief of not having to. You can leave the flag out. All right. I saw what it did to your ball earlier. A little bit of a downhill left to right situation here. No way. Wesley. Oh my gosh. How did that rip across the hole? Wow. She is the hey. last minute rip. I need to come and talk to you. I mean, what I'm seeing here, Wesley, if you can just channel this putting, what I'm seeing Dude, today. It's the new putter. I'm, I'm telling you, every putt out it has looked like it's going to go in today. All right, 15. We have four holes remaining. Six under, five under. Par five, drive par four, par three, par five to finish. So, hey, hold on tight. I need to hold on tight. No, no, I'm, hey, loose, loosey goosey, have fun. Free it up, George. Free, Free it, up. it up. Here we go. The uh, penultimate, penultimate, penultimate hole. Uh, hole 15, par five. Relatively short, pretty straight. Downwind, downhill, though. Um, good drive here will unlock. Very good chance. Uh, Toughest driving hole out here. Yeah, sure. but a very good driving hole, though. Uh, you got to hit a good one. Come here. I know you're fear you're scared of aiming too far left. Now we're gonna get a little session here. I know I aimed What's up it? right because I did not want to hit it left. You didn't want to hit a good one like you've done all day. You were literally aimed up. The, the last you're you aimed up in the middle of those trees, right? Right. I was trying to have my ball come out on the canopy of those trees on the what right about side. You've aimed when you've aimed up left, you've hit these just beautiful straight balls, slight fades. I aimed up left on the previous hole and I hit it 700 yards left. I aimed up left on the no, hole before that and I hit it 700 yards right. So I felt like both of those options were not very good on this hole. So no, I aimed up right and then hit it left. No, I you, still have a one shot lead. No, you trust the process. And I'm in full control of my golf ball right now because I'm gonna be dropping it out of the hazard. <laughs> Man, Wesley, again, for a toe hook, I mean, it's just like, if he's playing a tournament here, you're probably, 
probably gonna hit two iron. It's just that firm and you don't have anywhere to hit driver. But it wasn't, it was a tow hook, but that one wasn't as bad as the ones I've seen in the past. But it, it was 100% because he aimed up, he was aimed up from the right trees. I just need him to aim up in the left trees and just know that it's gonna go, or left trees, left center of the fairway, know that it's gonna go where it's supposed to go. But man, having a one stroke lead and he does that. Probably got, probably got a lucky break though. And... Oh my gosh. Yep. He, he's probably gonna have a shot at the green. Don't tell Wesley. Just. Do you have a shot at the green? He doesn't. I mean, I will say though, for a toe ball, that really wasn't that bad. Like, you get, I mean, you're gonna make, see, this he's gonna make burn on this hole, Will. That pin is in an unburnable spot. It's in that front little thing. He's gonna hit the sauce wedge. What you thinking? Get it over the creek, running up pin high? Beyond pin high to the right. Chip Go it in. Down. If I were caddying for you, I'd 100% lay this up, but. I mean, I feel like if we get this ball up and out, past that bunker on the right. I feel like it's time. We, we can, I mean, worst case scenario, I hit it in the hazard. I got, we might have to play from behind a little bit. I don't want to lay, I don't want to just like take the easy way out. I think I'd rather uh, do something fun. This is stupid. There's no way around it. This is freaking stupid. But if it pays off, it'd be worth it. Going five iron, going crafty, crafty little hook here. You actually came to listen. What's what's they do? He's going. Gosh, we did it! Goodness. Come on! That was. That's just ideal, huh? Absolutely ideal. That ideal. Just chipping straight back down the throat of the green. Don't have that front false front to be, worry about. That was ridiculous. Exactly. People. What Wesley's, we're trying to hit. Wesley, you're an idiot. Wesley's an idiot, but I love it. In fact, he's got a one-stroke lead. Instead of laying up, he brought all the trouble into play. <sighs> so we got 165 downwind to this pit. Like, we're just trying to get it on the back side of the green, maybe even just over so we can chip coming back this way because that pin is borderline. No, I think it's un inaccessible from right here. Oh, that is not the miss, folks. That is not the miss. But the the wind didn't really do anything. Like, I, I know I didn't whiff. I know I whiffed it, but no, no I know. We but got some mid-match practicing here. That's oh, nice for Dequeue. No, and I then he it. then he whiffs it again. I am match a, practicing. I yeah. I don't stuff. I don't condone that. Usually we. I mean usually it's very very authentic. And as you see, our authenticity's blown. Every now and I like I, I'm I'm okay with the second putt. Completely okay with that. The but second man, strike, just working on the ball strike mechanics. That just doesn't sit well with a no, lot of people. No, it doesn't. Okay, so you see where the pin's sitting, guys. Yeah. No. I, my attempt was to get it all the way back somewhere long right, so I had all this green to work with. Yeah, we've uh, we've got ourselves a peculiar situation. We have hit like a low 50, 58, land it right here and just basically hope. Because if you land it on the screen, it's going to go 15 feet past. Got Wes playing first. Shot. Pretty well down there. Much better look than he would get if he laid it up with a wedge, I think. Just with the wind conditions. George needs an answer. Oh, backstopping. Yes! Absolute That's gross. Backstopping. Guys, comment in the comments section. I mean, that is just that, gross. That is gross. That's, that's, that, that's, that, should, that should sit really poorly with everybody watching. That this. is a blatant disregard for the rules. I mean, in the fairway, blatant disregard. Hey, up here around the hey, green, no, you're wet. blatant you're... disregard. No, you're, no you're, your ball did not how do you, hit my ball and end up closer than mine. How do you feel about disrespecting the game, George? I don't, I mean, well, who's what? Well, my, uh, ball, my ball was closer than where your ball would have been. Yeah, Oof, boy, it's getting chippy out here. Down. That's scummy. Scummy. That's greasy. <laughs> scummy. It's real scummy. Oh man. Hey, feels good, Wesley. <laughs> I mean, I need a shower. <laughs> that's just scummy out of George. You hate to see that. And, it's, and it's to celebrate it. I mean, that's just. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah, it's, it's despicable. It's everything you hate about kind of cheating and. I mean, this game. This game was founded on honor. It was. And so integrity. It's a, a gentleman's game, really. It's, isn't that what they say? And just all out the window right there. Hey, go, hey, go That's what you like to see. A, bir a birdie with honor, integrity. Well, that's later. 
Yeah. No, dude, I'm done with him. I'm, I, I need to give him a rest. I don't, I don't even like hanging around and associating myself with people like that. All right, guys, guys and girls, this is what you signed up for. I don't care, you don't, there's no pictures on the scorecard, a good friend once told me. Heading to the 16th, drivable. Six under for me, seven under for Wesley. We have a we we have a match of brewing here. The bad news is people st tell stories in the locker room and in the uh, dining hall after, and they are going to think less of you after this. See you guys on 16. <laughs> we are at the uh, semi-drivable. It's, oh. it's a little bit back into the wind right now. 16th hole. We got seven under, six under. Some good golf being played. This hole will yield another birdie or two, and uh, I just hope for y'all's sake at home, it's not George because what oh. we witnessed on the last hole is egregious. And so here we are, play away, sir. That's a great ball there. Yeah, that's gonna, that, that wind. That wind's just straight in the tee. Yeah, I mean, we had no chance getting there. Oh no. Four, oh. four! Just right over the top of the golf cart with the old ladies. Didn't know that Wesley, your alignment there was good and that's what you're missing. Tell you guys, it's all alignment. I've heard this same speech from dad from age six all the way until 30, and then he probably gave up on giving the speech, but like my alignment always was terrible. Wesley, it's all alignment, bud. If there's been one hole in George's game over the years, this is definitely it from from 10 to 80 yards. Just, it's just dialed. Shot. Got a uh, much better angle here. Looking straight down onto the green. God, wouldn't it be something? Wesley, a lot of green to work with, and he struggled. A little bit of room to work with. Contact was real poor, huh? It wasn't your best. I mean, sure. you just heard it. It sounded like a thud. Yeah, like a it's kind of like a thump instead of a click. I mean, it's still five feet. I've I've hit worse shots from there for sure. Good putt. Thank you. To seven, I go. Pressure applied. Wesley. I bet it's Wesley one. I mean, the guy. Hey, right in the back. Give credit where credit's due. The guy's stepping up and coming at each challenge he has faced, he succeeded. But I mean, my goodness. This is the best match of our channel history. I mean, if, if nothing else, let's get this video to like 10,000 likes. You know? We're, up let's go 20,000. 20, I mean, guys, we're, we're putting on a display. Seven under, and I'm not even winning. I'm, I'm one down. So I'm seven under par going to the six, 17th hole. Wesley is eight under par. We have two remaining, and it is, oh, this is, this is the best match we've ever had, and I love it. Guys, what a day. What a freaking day. Eight under and seven under? Shoot, hope y'all are enjoying this. This is fun. This is fun for me. This like, we're competing. Like, Wesley is eight under par, and you'd think, uh, he's gonna walk away with it. Mm -mm. But we're going with 17th hole, about 200 yards, 205. It is back down wind, so that should help a little bit here with this par three 17th. We got 206 yards. The wind's down off the right. Both electing six irons, and uh, take dead aim at it, man. I know it's not the pin like you're really screams, let's go right at it, but it's like right of this hole is better than left of it. Yeah, it's really one of those things where if you get right of it, you're pitching at least back up the hill. Right to left down, six iron. That's gonna need to cover some so, serious right. real estate. So sad. Just enough thin, Wesley. That was great, great right line. Flag. Oh, that's what. If you guys at home, so you hit one a little thin downwind. It goes a little lower, and it doesn't have a chance to get into that Gulf Stream, and Jet so stream. it, it kind of kicks it down off the get-go, which makes it kind of lose yardage. But man, that was close. Yeah, it's going left, but I mean that's center of the green, solidly struck. Yep. Just doing what you got to do. Put down the slope a little bit. Get a little yep. closer. It's a good shot. Little tug. Man, if we could bury this one and George for some odd reason doesn't get up and down. Welcome to the bunker. Hey, why not hold why not hold one? We got we got rejected already one time today, Wesley. Oh. Uh -oh. Little Frisco, Texas now. It's just one of those times when you can start to feel it. It's like you just felt the, the shift happen. Right there. Hmm. Wow. Dogs are gonna be dogs, as the famous Wes Bryan once said. Savages will also be savages. 
and that was our moment, folks. Look at George. He's dropped the putter. He's in the, the prayer position. Hands together. Wait, what? Are you kidding? That's like your fifth putt over 30, 20 feet today. He still can't. He still can't grab the putt. There it is. He's got it. Now this this is a must must make yeah, I mean, situation. We're there. Knock it in, George. All right. That wall's right behind you, George. There is nowhere to go. It's over. Three Should down. You can put it. Yeah, I think you should put it. I mean, I'm. That's three down with one to play, folks. Back to six under. Just get out of here. Should with we that. do the outro no. now? No. Get you out of keep here. going. Okay. Mm. Hey, but on, on another note, again, I think every putt that I've hit today, even the ones I've missed, have been solid, and I just hit that one through the through the break, like at the line. Hey, I'll if you it. if you've made it this far, I know George wants to rant about golf and all that stuff. If you haven't subscribed at this point, go ahead and make sure you hit the subscribe button. I think we should get this video to 20,000 likes. I know it's a, an aggressive play there, but some quality golf. Champions are gonna come out on top. Feels good, I lost the last match. Wasn't gonna lose this one. We're just gonna go to the last, just to wrap it up, make it a little more formal. So, we'll see you up on the tee. What am I supposed to do? Like, I knew he was gonna make birdie there, so I had to go for it. I mean, I knew he, I knew with my being, he was gonna make birdie on that hole, and you can't play for par and be two down playing the last hole, par five. And I just didn't hit a great six iron, but hey, great, good, what, good bunker shot and a good putt. And then he cashes it. I mean. It's all right. Eagle birdie, you never know. You never know, we're not giving up. All right, Wes, take us through this hole here. I mean, now we can just start to play some childish games. We're just gonna go with a little D off the D. Shout out to the original Dodd father, Mason Busted Jack. And it just... Did it carry to the fairway? No. It didn't. It was completely and utterly top, but I got a three-shot cushion. Don't care. The only, again, if, if we're, this, is, this is a tournament. Like, the only thing he can't do is hit that hazard to hit it right. So at this point, he's just playing, like, yeah. it might not look pretty, but it's, it's what you do. Like, I mean, I would have hit two iron. Instead, we can just top a driver. Why not? It's got to get its hustle on. That's going to be fine. It's, it's not going to be a fairway, but... Uh -oh. I mean, we're gonna be. Why can't he make par? Hey, but you know what this means? I mean, maybe this. Hey, we got U.S. Open qualifier in like a week. I'll be going down there to film that. I mean, let's just get hot, Wes. Let's keep this thing rolling. Well. Let's go to L.A. Yeah, we kept it short of the hazard. We're uh, let me laser it. Like I said, we topped it. We are uh, 77 yards behind George. I would, I would like to. What am I at nine? Yeah. I'd like to get to double digits. We're still locked in. Double digits, hitting it as bad as we've hit it, seems pretty impressive up to this point. All right, there's only one place we can't hit it, and that's right. It's your victory, Dan. Awesome. Is this what it comes down to? Wesley, bogey's not out of the equation. I've seen him putt, and I've seen him hit some bad wet shots today, or chip shots. Not really, I mean, he's nine under. But, Eagle here, we got 205 up this hill, playing about 215, but I just need to carry it like 205 to cover that bunker and let it trickle back there. Going pin hunting, the pin is directly over that bunker. Um, well, let's just do this thing, you know? I feel like that was a much better shot than that. I tell you, that one, that one was a weird one. That one felt like, the, the wind not knocked it down or something. Maybe it was actually more into up there than I felt. That that just kind of feels like the air is slowly yeah, no, that, that's going a, out That's of the an balloon. exact replica of this situation. Like the I've been deflated. I was deflated back there, and that ball just got deflated and came up short. I feel like you got it in the bag now. I mean, it just it just feels right. Everything about this moment feels right. All right, we got 60 yards. Only thing to avoid here is coming up short. Excessively to the right, but we did what we needed to do. All right, one last chance here. You gotta land. There's a leaf right there that I'm trying to hit a low 58 degree. Lands over that, skips up, um, goes to the right, goes in. That's my only hope. Oh my! They made what it. a shot! Oh! Good shot. 
Guys, I gave it a go. Hey, I mean, I'm gonna tap this in. I mean, guys, that is, that is not a slouch. I mean, that's a 65. Why not us? Why not us, huh? Let's go. Double I mean, digits. Got there. We just shot. Did we just shoot the lowest round on YouTube history? YouTube golf. I think Quan played some good golf. Combined, though, I mean, what is that, 17? We shot 17 under. I mean, is it the shoes? Am I going to have to sleep and, and be in these shoes? This is my best round. I think my best round on YouTube. Well, you play Aiken golf. Oh, my a lot. gosh. Yeah, that's true. So, I'm talking about out here at a real golf course. But, man, that was fun. I mean, I hate losing, but if you're going to lose to a 10 under, that's that's the one you want to lose to. 65, game feels good. Wesley. Game felt the, terrible, to be honest with you. I feel wand, like I scraped it around. To, but the wand was high. Hot. Hey, shout, we, shout out Joe too long. We're on to something here. But no, thank you uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for Ulakai for sponsoring this video. It's cool to work with um, really cool sponsors, cool brands um, to get behind us. And I guess the product works. Everything will be in the description there. Go uh, go check out the site. Go check out the link. Um, man, I don't know what to say. Subscribe, like. We're going to be doing a little bit more of this 18-hole deal. Yeah. So y'all uh, y'all get ready for it. Exhausting. We can't, we, can't, hey, we can't forget to mention Mudball. I, I mean, hope, he's back. I hope the filming was good enough. Maybe a little shakes, maybe hit it with my leg a couple times, but hey. Hey, that's fine, hey, who cares? So over so all of the people that comment below about production quality, that's just on take me. it on this guy. <laughs> that's 100% on me. Well, 95% because yeah, George I definitely did do, still I did, did something. I did a little bit. Hey, Will. Hey. We'll see you next time. Enjoyed it.